uh, have always enjoyed talking to Philip Stutz, our friend who has uh, got an interesting career uh, based out of Washington, but uh, spends a lot of his time in the South as well. Uh, he deals in the uh, realm of uh, digital media and politics and also a longtime Alabama football fan. Philip Stutz joining us from uh, New York. Uh, his new book, Fire Them Now, The Seven Lies Digital Marketers Sell. Philip, uh, I, I know this has been a long process, to use a, a sweet home Alabama phrase. Uh, congratulations on the success. I've seen it racing to the top of Amazon. Uh, what's the backstory on this book? No, first of all, I just want to start out by saying, unlike Charles Barkley, I'm not misquoted in this book. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and uh, yeah. the backstory is that uh, this is the first modern day look at how political campaigns really work. It's not a gossipy book. It's not about who works where and who does what, but it's about how we run political campaigns and then how those can impact businesses. So that's the bottom line. Just so you know, uh, as well as you know, uh, you are acknowledged in the book, as is John um, and Nick Saban, uh, all in the acknowledgments of this book because uh, of the impact all of you guys have had on me. So thank you. And the difference between uh, the other two is I've, a I've actually read the book. <laughs> yeah, right. I know John was off in Paris having fun before he could read it. Um, one of the, but here's the thing: I in the book I lay out all these strategies that businesses be, you should be using. But when I talk to you today about coming on, uh, I realized that you implement two of the positive strategies uh, in your radio network. So I'll bring them up. One is that we're moving into an incredibly disruptive economy uh, where the customer is going to be in charge of everything. And we've seen that whether it be uh, with Uber, uh, but it's the customer economy. And you kind of had a patent on that for so many years because you allow your, co your, cl your callers to kind of have a say-so in the show, and they have an ownership in the show. And I think that's one of the reasons why you've been successful uh, on your radio program. And then the other one is, my favorite chapter in the book is called Going Negative. And it is about how businesses can use going negative strategies like we do in politics to run uh, ads uh, that are comparison. And no one does going negative better than your callers on each other. And so those two, those two strategies really show a lot of your success. You know, I, I, I'm thinking as you talk, Philip, and I realize you're in New York and you're going to L.A. and this is already a big success, but I, I think it may have been a better success if you just d had done the book on this show. And, and talked about how this show became what it was, although maybe that's been done before, but, but I, I do like where you're going here. Let me, let me. I, I think this is a sequel then. Well, maybe that's the sequel. It will be unauthorized though. Hey, we, but I'll tell you this before you go on your next question. Uh, for anybody that wants to pick up the book today, uh, we'll do it for 99 cents for all your viewers and listeners uh, until midnight tonight. Okay, so. Um, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. So they, they can, now if they go to Amazon now, they can get it for 99 cents? Yep, we, yep, we have it set up for your viewers that way. Wow. By the way, if I, uh, I just, I'm buying it right now. I'm at the checkout, uh, but, I, but I'm okay. confused because I'm also uh, getting some wine and pizza from Whole Food. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Put it on my tab. Okay. A little inside the Beltway joke. Um, let, let's talk a little bit about how this all correlates to what we normally do here when we're not screaming and hollering sure. uh, in the sports genre. Because uh, are there applications that you can take what, what you've done in politics and in the, in the digital space and, and, and integrate it into what we do here? Yeah, and I would tell you that it just happened this week. Uh, there was a very sensitive issue that happened with Mark Cuban, the Dallas Mavericks, uh, with an employee that had abused a woman. And uh, Mark Cuban had kept him uh, in, on his staff. And uh, that has kind of been exposed this week. And so Cuban came out this week. And, you know, one of the things I talk about in the book is if you screw up, own it, and be authentic. And, and put it out there on social media and get your message out because you're going to be defined uh, whether it's your message or someone else's. And Cuban came out and gave a very heartfelt, uh, not only apology, but a I screwed up uh, comment um, and really went back to the victim and, and her needs. And it was very good. And I, I was emailing with uh, Mark this week and I, I complimented him on the response because it was heartfelt. Obviously it's a sensitive subject. I'm not talking about the subject itself, 
but I did see that one uh, example this week that I thought was really interesting. And, and it's not to get too deep in, into that type of uh, conversation, but I, but I read this statement all the time when uh, during this this latest rage of, of, of well-known people who fall, and they always issue the same tweet or, or statement. Yeah. Philip, um, you know, I, I apologize to anyone uh, that I may have offended. I mean, come on. You screwed up. Just, just everybody, apologize. Everybody, yeah, everybody is, exactly, and everybody knows it, and so you don't ever say that. It's the dumbest thing you can say. I'll, I'll give you one other example, and this is a, a happier example, a more fun example. I talk about with you just a second ago about how businesses can be going negative on their competition, especially underdogs in the marketplace. But this happened just in the last 10 days in sports. Uh, I don't, it, there was, uh, Jordan Spieth is running for like the head of the PGA Players Association with Billy Hurley. And they, Billy Hurley uh, ran a, a fake, almost political like ad that just savaged Jordan Spieth, and it's all a joke, <laughs> and you can tell it's a joke, and you know it's a joke, and if you haven't seen it, go to YouTube and Google it. It is hilarious, and that is my whole point, which is using humor to you know, pop someone else. So Spieth was in on the joke, too, but the interesting part about that was that, that video got 750,000 views. I'm not sure how many people knew who Billy Hurley was before that video, and after that video, I would tell you his brand went up a heck of a lot by using sort of, you know, comparative advertising in a humorous way. And uh, that was done really successfully. And it was so smart and so funny. And that's what we encourage our clients to do all the time. I know one, one application, in, in, especially in, in the political space, is that, that there is a, a sense that you have to respond immediately when you are attacked. I say this, Philip. Because as we're talking to you, you've been here before, you, you stopped off here on the way to France once. Um, mm -hmm. We have computers up, we try to keep up with social media, and you've been attacked while I've been interviewing you. Uh oh, is Jim from Tuscaloosa? Jim from Tuscaloosa has attacked <laughs> Philip Stutz, and uh, he's basically said, why would I buy a copy considering you didn't include me in the honorable mention? You didn't think so. Well, I think... <laughs> I think it's because he can't afford the 99 cent deal. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, uh, the, the, you are one of the best political um, <coughs> analysts and, 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 and marketers in, in the business. And, and the reason why you are, because you, you knew immediately who it was. I mean, you didn't say, well, uh, I mean, you went right to it. And you attacked him in, in I know, response. I know who's on my enemies list, Paul. It's, uh, it's a short list, but Jim is probably <laughs> in the top five. <laughs> and I'm an Alabama graduate. Yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're a native of, of, of Birmingham. I, I don't know how you got on this guy's bad side, but, but I can tell you, I know what it feels like. I'm on his bad side pretty much uh, 23 and a half hours a day, seven days a week. Well, I, let, let me give Jim credit. He's going negative, and that's what I think is, uh, can be done well. And he's going negative on you, he's going negative on me, and guess what? He's got a pretty big profile on this show. I mean, he's got a good brand now. Uh, he thinks he could do this show, and uh, probably, I'm surprised he hasn't already done a book, but, uh, or run for public office, but those are all things you can write in the sequel. The name of the book is Fire Them Now. Uh, so you, you've been in New York, you're going to LA, are you ever gonna to come to like your native land to actually uh, uh, sell this book? Uh, oh, what's my native land? Oh, well, your native land is like the South where you grew up. I know you've, oh, yeah. I know you've forgotten being, being a big shot on Fox News and, and Washington and New York and a, and a Trump advisor, but I'm just trying to remind you where you came from. I know. Listen, I live in Seaside, Florida now, so I, I am all Southern. Uh, I am going to come to Charlotte at some point. We're going to do a book event in Birmingham in probably May with uh, hopefully with Danny Markstein, a uh, friend that you know. Yeah, it's funny. And, I saw uh, Danny uh, yesterday morning at the Birmingham airport. That's that's funny. That you brought oh, him good. Up. And yep. And uh, we're going to have a we're going to have a great uh, Southern tour, uh, probably starting in March and April. Well, congratulations. This book is doing quite well i mean I, I saw you where were you yesterday on on amazon uh one or two something yeah like we hit uh we hit the top 10 of all business books and we hit number one in three subcategories and out of five hundred thousand books we got uh, i think in the top 400 and listen this is a niche marketing book so 
uh, we're pretty excited about it, and we think it's going to keep going up. And I knew you in, Philip Stutz, uh, live from New York. Sounds like a name of another book. Uh, Philip, uh, best wishes, congratulations, look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you, Paul. Great stuff from Philip Stutz, attacked by Jim from Tuscaloosa, and then Philip just smacks right back at him. Jim probably couldn't afford the 99 cents. I like that. We'll take a short break. Back with more of your phone calls at 855-560-9900.